Welcome back to the GSMC Chip Shot Football Podcast. Now talking some more on another quarterback battle, this time with the Las Vegas Raiders. Gardner Minshew was that other quarterback that was signed to the Raiders this offseason. He signed, and most people thought, or at least I did at the beginning of this, that he would be probably the favorite right off the bat to be that number one uh, quarterback for the Las Vegas Raiders. And although that was my thought, Head coach Antonio Pierce said that both would get the opportunity to at least earn that spot just based on what he saw out of Aiden O'Connell last season. He felt he earned that right to compete equally with Gardner Minshew. And I think with all the draft talk coming in and the Raiders sitting at that number 13 spot, there was no um, surprise when the quarterback rumors came up and they were also involved in maybe potentially trading up the connection with Antonio Pierce and Jaden Daniels. I think this team is still looking for that talented franchise guy like a Jaden Daniels or a Caleb or a J.J. McCarthy. I think they're still in that market, but for right now, it seems that they've settled on Aiden O'Connell versus Gardner Minshew for this year to just take them into this bridge year, and then hopefully they have better luck finding their next franchise quarterback in the draft or next free agency uh, in 2025, but where this quarterback battle stands as of right now. An update was provided on Sunday by ESPN's Jeremy Fowler, and he said on how the quarterback battle is going that O'Connell and Minshew in the spring went tit for tat, went after it, and Aiden O'Connell probably has the slight edge right now based on coming into year two, being more vocal. I'm told he's acting like a starting quarterback and Devontae Adams loves him, which always helps, certainly, with the brownie points. And they came out as a bit of a surprise to me. Like I mentioned, I thought Gardner Minshew um, was coming in with a better resume and just a little bit of a safer pick here for the Raiders to go with him. But it popped up the question of, who are you more confident in? Am I more confident in Aiden O'Connell and his time already there with the Las Vegas Raiders. You already had a good opportunity to really look at him, know what he's about in that first year, last year. Are you more confident in his time there? Or are you more confident in Garner Minshew coming in with more experience as a very qualified backup, stepping into a starting role, having success last year with the, um, excuse me, with the, uh, I'm getting a Woj report here on uh, on a trade for the NBA. But uh, regardless of that, are you more confident in Gardner Minshew and just his experience and coming in as an established veteran quarterback to lead this team? That is the question. And just based on this, it seems like the Raiders are following in that first portion of that question, more so in Aiden O'Connell's time there with the team. And Minshew co- has come in with a lot of moxie, already understands the offense and changing plays at the line and good o- and good at that off script stuff, uh, like also Jeremy Fowler reported on the situation. So it's not like it's a done deal or it's just a foregone conclusion that Aiden O'Connell, this is his job already. Most sources believe that this competition will go to the preseason and then the final decision will be made. So we're still a long ways away when the pads come on, when it's more football-like, regular season game-esque, we're really going to understand how these quarterbacks play out and what they're really about in those certain situations. But for right now, Aiden O'Connell has the early lead. And if you look at them uh, just off of last year, off of that short resume, off of the 2023 season, as a starter, Gardner Minshew came in with a 7-6 and record, Aiden O'Connell with a 5-5 and record, a completion percentage of both of them being at 62%. Minshew threw for more yards last season. He played more games than Aiden O'Connell. He had 3,305, and O'Connell had 2,218. Minshew threw three more touchdowns with 15 compared to Aiden O'Connell's 12, but Minshew did throw some more interceptions at 9 compared to Aiden O'Connell's 7. So looking at those stats side-by-side, side, like I have them on here, very similar, almost completely identical in almost all of their stats. So That's what makes this quarterback battle hard to determine, but also very intriguing, in my opinion, because I think the Raiders have done a good job of becoming more exciting, more dynamic on the offensive side of the ball, developing a bit more of a reputation, a bit more, what's the word I'm looking for, just a better understanding of this offense with um, a new offensive coordinator coming in, Luke Getzey, 
understanding this offense because Devontae Adams has already been in this offense with his time, both of their times in Green Bay and how successful they were. I think bringing those ideas over, how successful Green Bay was, and now you're adding so much more talent with a Brock Bowers, with Adams, with Jacoby Myers, with Michael Meyer as well. They have a lot of exciting prospects on this team that I think you have a good spot. You're doing well to build around this team. And then, like, I'm always preaching, when you draft that rookie quarterback or you bring in a new quarterback into a new system, a new team, a new environment, you already did your homework. You handled your business. You got everything else prepared for that quarterback to be as successful as possible when he does step in. So I like what the Raiders have, what they have been doing up until this point. And they're both, both of these quarterbacks are so similar. Um... In terms of stats, productions, it's hard to really see them really doing any better with with either one. If they decided to go with Gardner Minshew or if they decide to go with Aiden O'Connell, it's hard to predict and say, oh, they're going to be so much better with this quarterback or this quarterback. I basically think they're going to get the same thing and probably finish the season around 500, I would say give or take a game or two above or below 500. That's just me because that's where I see them at this point in their whole team development. And these quarterbacks aren't the typical game changers. And I wonder if, um, in saying that, if there's ever a wild situation in the alternate universe where um, Aiden O'Connell or Garner Minshew play so good that the Raiders just decide to make these guys the future quarterbacks going forward because it is so tricky in free agency and in the draft like we just saw this year all the teams in the top 10 top 12 if you go all the way up to the Denver Broncos were in the quarterback market and they drafted Penix, Bo Nix, J.J. McCarthy, Drake May, Jaden Daniels, and Caleb Williams all in the top 12 picks you are you're always so surprised with how many teams are actually needing a quarterback and you're never really guaranteed a top very talented quarterback. So in an alternate universe, is there any way O'Connell or Gardner Minshew could be this team's future quarterback going forward for the next four um, to five years? That's a hard sell. That is a hard sell. Even to myself, trying to sit here and convince myself. But it is just an interesting thought because, like I mentioned, everything else is so uncertain that uh, you don't want to settle, but sometimes you have to like the, like they did this year. And moving forward, you hope that they get a more talented quarterback, more, um, not established, because if you get a rookie, it's not really established. But you get what I'm trying to say, a more dynamic quarterback that people look at and say, okay, this guy can be a franchise quarterback. I don't think people have that impression right now of Gardner Minshew, obviously because of his experience going on in the NFL already, and just what we saw off of Aiden O'Connell last year. I don't think too many people are buying into that, but... Regardless of that, Aiden O'Connell has the upper hand as we're talking here on this situation. And it's very interesting because he is, from what we saw in his first year, not too much crazy plays, not too many off-script stuff like Gardner Minshew is known to do. You know, those typical Minshew magic moments that he pulls out. And it makes the game a lot more exciting, much more of a dynamic play to sort of defend if you're on the defensive side of the ball but Aiden O'Connell I think is a little bit safer I remember seeing that Antonio Pierce one of the praises he had on um on Aiden O'Connell was that he was very safe with the ball he had very good ball security so that's obviously important um but we'll see I think this battle is long from over that is according to the result to the sources around this situation and it's going to be super intriguing to follow just because Gardner I think he's starting to get there a little bit. I mentioned he knew the offense, but I think there's still some time there to try and get more comfortable in this um, this system with Luke Getze. Aiden O'Connell definitely has an upper hand, and always, if Devontae Adams likes you, if you have him on your side, it's hard to convince the organization to not go with what Devontae Adams says. That's just the reality of the situation when you have these stars on your team. So, good for Aiden O'Connell, I guess, that he has Devontae on his side, but When this is all said and done, I think we're really going to learn more about this in the preseason. I'm sure they're going to be split either way in in this quarterback competition. So it's going to be super exciting to watch. And I'm excited to see the Raiders. I think, like I said, they're going to be 500. But at the same time, um, I think there's going to be some games in there where it's exciting. I truly believe that against the Chiefs in division games or just all over the conference, it's going to be something to surely tune into in 
2024. But when we return after our next break, we're going to come back and talk about some more off-season grades this year in um, in this year's offseason in the NFC South, Saints, Bucks, Panthers, Falcons. You know the deal. I'm going to grade them when we return after this break. You're listening to the GSMC Chip Shot Football Podcast. 